Welcome to part 5 of the capsule line video series about impulse and momentum. In the previous video, we have seen some of applications of the impulse or second law of motion in our daily lives. In this video, we are going to define an isolated system and learn about the conservation of a linear momentum. In physics, while learning a new topic, to simplify the process, first we try to learn it within ideal conditions. And then, step by step, we start to introduce all other parameters. We have followed the same methodology in the topic of laws of motion. While solving the first examples of that topic, initially we were ignoring the friction force and had started to consider it only towards the end of the topic. This way, we were able to lay a base understanding of the topic and then add other building blocks on the base knowledge. The system with ideal conditions for this topic is an isolated system. There are a lot of different definitions of an isolated system. Actually, there are even two different types of an isolated system. Simply put, isolated system in thermodynamics is the system where energy does not change. In mechanics, it is the system where total momentum of the system does not change. As our topic is not thermodynamics, we will focus on the second definition of an isolated system. Isolated system is a system that has no net external force acting on it. Since there is no net external force acting on the system, the momentum of the system remains constant. For example, on the screen we can see two objects which are moving towards each other, collide and then move in opposite directions. If we ignore the friction force between the surface and the objects, as well as all kind of energy transfers between these two, we can say that the system is an isolated system. In reality, there is always friction force between a surface and an object, or there is always heat exchange between two objects colliding with each other. Due to collision, these objects become hotter which means some part of the mechanical energy is transferred to a heat energy or sometimes even to a sound energy. But again, for the simplicity, we are ignoring all of them and assume that the system is isolated. The question may arise, why we have focused on an isolated system so much? The reason is the law of conservation of linear momentum. According to this law, in an isolated system, total linear momentum remains same. Here, we say total linear momentum as in a caps aligned physics class, we only learn about linear momentums, which means all objects in our examples are moving on the same line. But this definition is true for all kind of momentums. According to the definition, total linear momentum of a system in its initial state is equal to the total linear momentum of the system in its final state. On the animation on the screen, we can see a Newton's cradle. Initially, five balls on the right are at rest, only the leftmost ball is moving. Therefore, the total momentum of the system is equal to the momentum of this lonely ball. After collision, the ball on the left stops and the rightmost one moves to the right with the same velocity as the first ball had just before the collision. And now, total linear momentum is equal to the momentum of the rightmost ball, as others are at rest. In an ideal conditions, this motion continues back and forth indefinitely. But in real life, due to loss of mechanical energy and friction, after a while, the motion is going to stop. Let's solve an example to see how to use the given formula. A 5 kg explosive object which is at rest on a smooth plane fragments into two pieces of masses 3 kg and 2 kg after an internal explosion. If the 2 kg piece moves due east at a speed of 6 meters per second, what is the velocity of the other piece? Sometimes it may be difficult to understand the question. In these cases, it is always a good idea to draw a diagram or a picture. Initially, 
a 5 kg object is at rest. Then it fragments into two pieces. A 2 kg part which moves east at a velocity of 6 m per second and 3 kg one. But we don't know what the velocity of that piece is. Calculating it is our task for this question. First, we type the formula total initial linear momentum is equal to the total final linear momentum. Then we decide on positive and negative directions. For this question, we choose east as positive. Initially, there is a single object of mass m and velocity v. Afterwards, there are two pieces of masses m1 and m2 and velocities of v1 and v2 respectively. Mass of initial object is 5 kg and its velocity is 0 as the object was at rest. m1 mass of the piece on the right is 2 kg and its velocity is 6 meters per second. Second piece is 3 kg and its velocity is unknown yet. By solving the equation, we calculate that the velocity of the 3 kg piece is negative 4 meters per second. The answer has a negative value, meaning the 3 kg object is moving west. Therefore, velocity of 3 kg object is 4 meters per second west. In this video, we have defined an isolated system and learned about the conservation of a linear momentum. In the next video, we are going to learn about an elastic collision. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications in order to be updated about the new videos.